First numbers game now. Make an equation using the chosen numbers to reach the target. Mel, what would you like? I would like two large numbers, please, Lily, and four small numbers. Two large and four small. I can do that for you, Mel. And our numbers two, seven, three and one. And our large, 75 and 25. The target to reach is 821. That's your target and your clock starts now. Time's up. Did anyone reach the target? Alex Ward? No. No? Uh, Dylan? No. OK. And Mel? No, definitely not, Michael. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Just to check, did anyone get close to the target? Well, it depends who's... How, like, could it be who's the closest out of our bad answers? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Generally, you get points if you're within ten. Ah, no. OK. <laughs> Mel? No? No. Gotcha. Alex? Uh, no, I had 843. Okay, oh. so a bit off. Um, Lily, this one seems to have stumped our panel. Could you get there? Uh, yes, I could, uh, and I'll talk you through it. So, the trick here was remembering that 75 by what equals 825? 11. 11. 11. <laughs> so, uh, let's make it an 11 quickly. 7 by the 2 is 14. Now, 25 minus the 14 is 11. Multiply that by the 75, gives you 825. And now you have the three free, sorry, the three and the one free to get up to 821. Ooh. So the scores then, they remain unchanged. Mel is on four points, Alex is on 10 points, and Dylan's still ahead on 11 points. <laughs> Let's go back to the numbers game now. Dylan, your turn to choose. Thank you, Michael. Lily, may I please have five smalls and one big? Certainly, thanks, Dylan. That's OK. Let's see, that's four, five, and our numbers. Three, six, one, nine, five, and the large is 75, and the target to reach is 217. That's your target, and your clock starts now. Up. Did anyone get the target? Dylan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. No, no, oh, no, 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 I was just answering you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How close did you get? I got the target. Right. Uh, <laughs> Alex Ward, how'd you go? I got the target. Hey! No bottle? Yeah, Michael, I got the target, baby. Nice! <laughs> yeah. Well, Mel, why don't you talk us through your solution? OK, here we go. I did 75 times 3 is 225. Well done. Then I got an 8 by 9 t minus 1. Correct. Then I took the 8 away from 225. Well done, 217. Which gave me 217, really. Uh, Dylan and Alex, did you do the same solution? Yes, in a different order, but yes, mm -hmm. essentially. Essentially, yeah, I did minus 9 and then I just added a 1. Mm -hmm. Lily, perfect. were there other ways to get to 217? Uh, no, this was absolutely perfect, and I'm, I'm so stoked that everyone got it. Yes! Well done, Brad Me. Oh, it feels good! <laughs> it's never happened! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores then. Mel is on 22 points, Alex is on 25 points, and Dylan's on 33 points! <laughs> Can we see? Let us get into our very next numbers game. And uh, Alex Ward, you can choose the numbers this time. What would you like? OK, can I please have three small and three big? Three small and three large. Thanks, to Alex. And our numbers four, one, six. And our large, 75, 25 and 50.
The target to reach is 517. That is your target to reach, and your 30 seconds starts now. Did anyone get the target? Alex Ward? Uh, I'm four off. Four off, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dylan, how'd you go? No, I am seven off. Seven off, still in the points. And uh, Mel Buttle, how'd you go? I am four off the target. Ooh, yeah. Okay, yeah. everyone in the points then. Alex Ward, talk us through your solution, please. Sure, so I did six plus one. Is... Six plus one is seven. Yep, times 75. By the 75 is 525. Five. Yeah, minus the four. Minus the four is 521. Did you do the same solution, Mel? I, yeah, I did the exact same thing. Yeah, but it d just doesn't look as professional as the way Lily does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lily, could you get any closer? Yeah, so the trick at this point, and your eight away um, is to get the eight. And uh, the thing about having lots of bigger numbers here is that you can try to use them to make smaller numbers. And in this case, you can divide the 50 by the 25 to give you two. Um, and instead of subtracting the four, you subtract the two multiplied by the four, which gives you 517. Oh. Let's take a look at the scores then. Mel is on 34 points, Alex is on 37 points, and Dylan's ahead on 45 points! Yay! It's time now to head over to Dictionary Corner. Alistair, what have you got for us? Hello, Michael. Now, as you may know, I am an engineer by training, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people think that that means that I love maths, but I don't, right? <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't trust it, right? Like, like, first of all, like, is it maths or math, right? I mean, you would think that if your whole field of endeavor had to do with counting, that's the first thing you would work out, how many of it there are, right? <laughs> now, like engineering, maths uh, claims to solve problems, right? Now, now here's a problem here. Now, uh, would anybody here like to use maths to try and solve this problem? Sure, it's 11. The answer's 11. Okay, well, that may be true. I mean, if I use my pen and paper, possibly I could uh, check it for you, you know, break the pen into five pieces, tear the piece of paper into six, and count the total number <laughs> of objects, right? But let's say you're right. Yeah, let, let's say that is 11, right? And then tomorrow I go to do this presentation again, and, uh, but that problem isn't solved, then. It'll, it'll still just be like that, right? So maths didn't solve anything, did it? It really just appeased the problem. It just kind of temporarily placated it, right? So, and, and, then, and then there's the problem of the numbers themselves, right? Look at this. Like, now, now what do they mean, right? What, what do they represent, right? The, the current number system offers no clues to figuring it out yourself, right? Now, but, now, now I'll give you an example. Lily, uh, would you be able to forget what all the numbers mean for me? Easily done. I've got baby brain. <laughs> Great. Okay. With a fresh mind now, could you tell me what you think the numerical value of this symbol is right here? Well, I can only assume that there's one symbol there, so this symbol means one. Oh, that's very embarrassing for you, Lily. I'm sorry, but that's absolutely incorrect. You see, the only reason that we know what any of these numbers mean is because somebody told us what they mean, right? Ah, the old appeal to authority fallacy, right? But I'll, I'll fix all of these problems with, with my new system, right? Now, and, and to do my new system, we just have to shift from a base 10 number system to a base one number system, <laughs> right? Now, in the base one number system, we only use one, and any additional one is also, is also one, right? <laughs> so, so, for example, one equals one, right? And 11 equals two, right? And uh, 1,111,111 is seven, <laughs> right? And so just look at how easy maths becomes with, with this new system. Now, uh, there's the old problem from before, five plus six. There it is, still unsolved by traditional means, right? And think of all the, all the difficulty you would have to undergo to, to, to solve this problem using the old system. You'd have to write these numbers down, rack your brain to try to remember what these impenetrable runes represent, <laughs> right? But with the new system, with base one, once you've written it down, you've already solved it, right? Now, Lily, would 
you be able to write down uh, the five, which is uh, uh, 11,111? Yes. And then <laughs> the uh, 111,111 next to it. <laughs> And there we have it, right? And you can see straight away uh, the, the 11 billion, 111 million, 111,111, and you can tell almost instantly that it's 11, <laughs> right? And look, I will admit that using my new system, uh, it will take longer to write big numbers down, <laughs> right? But if people knew how long it would take to write down the number one billion, then people might be disincentivized to become billionaires, <laughs> right? But of course, these people, uh, you know, could probably just pay somebody to, uh, to write these long numbers down for them, and then that would be creating work. And those people could be making six-figure incomes. <laughs> Six dollars. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alistair Trimley Bocho, everybody. Alistair, not only have you solved maths, it seems like you've also solved inequality. You're welcome. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs>